school officials and police have warned the protesters to leave or face arrest. The new protest comes on the day the school's chancellor was called before Congress to talk about UCLA's handling of those recent protests. KTLA's Rachel Manitoff joins us live from Westwood with the ongoing strife on campus. Rachel. Sam Court, things are a lot calmer right now than we, when we last spoke to you. I do kind of just want to recap what happened today. A second encampment popped up here on campus around 7 this morning. It was dismantled around 1 o'clock by LAPD officers in tactical gear, and then demonstrators moved over to this side of campus next to Murphy Hall, and you can see they're now right outside of Dodd Hall. A lot of people peacefully sitting on the quad over here. I am told that several students have taken over classrooms inside. Many are critical of UCLA's leadership, including Chancellor Jean Block, who was on Capitol Hill today. Tense moments today on UCLA's campus as officers demanded this group of pro-Palestinian demonstrators disperse. A second, albeit much smaller encampment, launched early Thursday morning. The group once again calling for the university to disclose its ties to Israeli companies and then divest. We're here to stop allowing the institution to wrongfully use our money for paying the tuition to support a war. This time, demonstrators set up camp on the Kirkhoff patio, which for much of the morning was blocked. This latest demonstration coincides with Chancellor Jean Block's testimony on Capitol Hill, where lawmakers grilled him about UCLA's handling of the initial encampment and subsequent dismantling. You cleared the encampment only after a violent riot erupted. For days you stood by as Jews were assaulted and the illegal checkpoints blocked access to campus in broad daylight. With the benefit of hindsight, we should have been prepared to immediately remove the encampment if and when the safety of our community was put at risk. Back on campus, many of today's demonstrators were critical of Block, saying he also failed to protect pro-Palestinian students from violent clashes. Can you tell us your reaction to Gene Block's testimony? He lied. Sky 5 overhead as LAPD swiftly broke up the crowds, which moved to other parts of campus and made their way through the halls of various school buildings. This student organizer says they're here as a reminder of their message. A lot of the focus is being moved away and from Gaza itself, so we're here to refocus. Um, whether there's congressional hearings happening or other encampments have been ended, things like that. Despite if we graduate, go on, we will continue as long as the genocide and occupation is happening. Chancellor Jean Block also touted his new Office of Campus Safety, which which reports directly to him, and he promised to hold anyone who engaged in violence accountable. As for these protesters, they say they're going to stay here indefinitely. What we haven't seen today is much of a pro-Israel presence on campus. That's the latest from UCLA. I'm Rachel Menatoff. Court Sam, back to you in the studio.